in the try parameters we want to set up our timer and basically for a timer we're going to need an integer I'm just going to set up a, a short actually we're going to call this short logo timer so now we have to set this equal to something we're going to have it start at zero and count up and once it hits a certain number it's going to stop the timer and it's going to start our new activity but we're going to set it at zero for now the only way we can change this would be to after this line would be like logo equals or logo timer equals 500 or 5000 and now logo timer equals 5000 but we're going to get rid of this and we're going to create a while loop and if you're new to programming uh, you might not understand loops too well but it's pretty uh, common knowledge it's not too hard to understand basically we're going to be saying while this parameter is true whatever is in these brackets is true we want to do um, these actions so we're going to say while our logo timer is less than 5000 you'll understand that in a second we want to do this whatever's in these brackets so while this is less than 5000 we want to make the program sleep and sleep is a function that the android knows already and basically what's going to do is just pause and do nothing so it's going to be on our logo screen and it's just going to sleep for 100 and 100 basically is a tenth of a second so we're going to let it sleep for a tenth of a second and we're going to set logo timer to logo timer plus 100. So basically what, what's going to happen here is our logo timer is at zero which is less than 5000 so it's going to sleep for a tenth of a second and it's going to redefine the logo timer. And how it does that is it's going to say logo timer equals what logo timer is plus 100. So logo timer equals 0 plus 100. Now logo timer is 100. And then it'll run through this again and say is logo timer less than 5000? Yeah, 100 is less than 5000. So it's going to sleep for another tenth of a second. And this will equal 100. Uh, or logo timer will now equal 200 because it's at 100 plus another 100 and it'll just keep looping through until it hits 5000 so basically this is going to last for five seconds because it's going to loop through here 50 times and i chose five seconds because my sound that i added to my rar folder earlier that's five seconds long and we're going to play a sound when this loads up so that's basically what that while loop is going to do and the program is going to read top to bottom in this thread so it's going to get caught up here and not do anything else down here yet until it finishes this loop the next thing we want to do is start the activity because once our timer lasts for five seconds we're going to call up our new menu uh, activity and to do this we want to say start activity this is just a method that uh, android already knows and what it takes in its parameters is something called an intent and so the intent uh, we don't have an intent defined yet so we're going to again say new intent and it's going to equal whatever in its parameters which will be our package name and I know this is going to be a little bit confusing but uh, you'll you'll f figure it out later a little bit uh, when I explain it but we're going to do package name dot clear screen uh, this is just kind of a reference um, this is something I made up you don't have to do the exact same one but we're going to reference it later we're kind of establishing that reference right now so in that with the semicolon and we'll go to our we're going to just delete the catch I'm just going to show you that it gets some errors and it doesn't know what intent is and basically it's like okay I don't know exactly what intent is because intent isn't a Java uh, knowledge term. It's okay, and basically it's saying if you hover over it, it says intent cannot be resolved to a type. This is not a, a Java term. This is a Android term. Like said before, we have all of these functions within these classes that we can use. Intent is one of those functions within one of these classes. And if we just hover over it, you can say import intent. 
So basically now we can use the intent function and we won't get that error. And if we scroll up here, we notice that it uh, imported this class, which is android.app.activity. So that's where our intent is coming from. Okay. For some reason, it's not taking, uh, taking short into account. So we're going to change this variable into an integer. Okay, so we just change that to an integer and it'll get rid of this problem. And uh, now we're getting a error under our sleep, which is saying unexpected exception type interrupted exception. And basically that comes from deleting our catch. So we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need to import that catch. And an easy way to do it is add a catch clause. Since we forgot to type it, it will add it in for us already. And we're just gonna hit okay it's it's automatically logging it and we shouldn't get any errors now uh, we're just gonna save the project this is up and ready to run but it's still not gonna do anything because what we've done is we've just defined what time logo is gonna be and as you can see this caution is saying time logo is never used this is just what time logo is all of this stuff this is the ending of what our thread was and we're still with within the onCreate method. Okay, and now all we have to do is go to, we need to start our thread. And to do that, you just type in your thread name, logo timer dot start method. So basically, this is going to be the start method. And what it's going to start is logo timer. So you do logo timer dot start. Okay, now every time we create an intent, we have to let the Android manifest know that we want to use this new activity. It's not going to let us use the new activity unless it's in the Android manifest. So we're going to open this up and we're going to define a new activity. As we can see here, my main is defined, but we don't have anything about my menu. So we're just going to copy this and paste it here. Now we just got to change some things around. We want to change the Android name to my menu, which is what we established right here. And we can keep the app name the same. That doesn't matter. Uh, and this, this Android action name is what we defined right here for our intent. So we want to let this reference uh, be connected to the manifest. So we're going to copy that and go back into the Android manifest and paste it right here. Now, now we'll be able to open that activity. The only other thing we want to do, we don't want to have a launcher, which is something that starts uh, the original activity. Uh, we're just going to hit um, go to default. So now we want to save and our pro program should be working. We're just going to run our application. And I'm going to pick this as the one that I created. This is my phone that's actually plugged in right now. Um, but I'm just going to pick the one that we created. And it's going to take a second to start. And hopefully it shows our splash screen. But when it goes to... Uh, it'll show our splash screen for five seconds and then it'll close because we haven't really defined anything in our uh, yeah, see where it's closing right now because we haven't really established our my menu Java folder yet so what we're gonna just do real quick is uh, set up a content view in my menu and again uh, I'm just gonna right click source override methods oh and see we don't have the override methods because we haven't extended the activity class yet so we have nothing to override so we're going to do extends activity and we're just going to highlight over this and import the activity class right here and now now we're going to have something to override right click source override methods and uh, now we're going to go to on create. Bundle. OK. 
hit OK. And we also, within the onCreate method, we want to set uh, the content view. And again, uh, we're going to reference it by r dot layout dot main because that's what our main XML is. We can change the name to menu, and then we have to change it here too. But uh, and then we could kind of know what's going on. But we're just going to use the names that we have and just hit save, and then we're going to run the application again. I went over this stuff really quickly, so I just wanted to apologize, but uh, I'll. As we go through more and more of this stuff, you'll it pick it up perfectly. See, it's, this program worked perfectly. It, it was on that screen for five seconds, then it went to our main XML, which is should be familiar from our first lessons. And again, um, I just want to apologize for going quick, so quickly through all this stuff. You guys still probably don't know exactly what's going on or why, how we coded, or you don't really understand the coding yet, but. I promise you if you just subscribe and keep watching the next videos you'll understand it. If you want to understand how to create an activity properly, again I'll put those links below and there's a ton of information on the Google uh, developer page and you can read through that if you want in your free time.